According to this team of African and Canadian researchers, the challenges at hand require identifying new technologies while they continue to search for a vaccine against HIV. For example, given the current prevalence, it may require combining male circumcision with condom use since each of these, when used alone, is not 100% safe. If we can have some newer technology and we have a broad range or combination that can add on, maybe this, the, this can work. In the absence of a vaccine that works today, we have technologies that if we use wisely, we'll be able to help address the problem. The 2011 National Demographic and Health Survey shows that the national HIV and AIDS prevalence has hit a seven-year high of 7.3 percent, up from 6.4 percent in 2006. Studies have also shown an increase in infection rates amongst married couples due to extramarital affairs, resulting into acquisition and spread of new strains. With this at hand, scientists have to find solutions. What is the cause of extramarital relationships? If they go out of the marital commitment, why don't they use protection? Therefore, the fact that there are many people using antiretroviral drugs means they live longer and are capable of infecting others. But besides this, there is yet another brainstorming task, and yet these scientists have to find a solution for it. Children that were born with HIV, and they've survived with it to adolescence now, and they will soon become adults. They want to get married. They have sexual desires like any human being. They will go to test with their potential partner and they are HIV positive. Some of them are still virgins, but HIV positive. What do you do to such a people? How do you handle them? And when it comes to the element of lifetime treatment for HIV victims, this is a nightmare for not only the victims, but also doctors as well as researchers. You put treatment to this seven-year-old, three-year-old, and they're supposed to have this treatment for all their lives. Even an adult, 30 years, you put them on treatment. And then, what does that mean? You become less compliant. When you become less compliant with your treatment, then you end up not taking your drugs, and eventually you succumb to the disease. Another major challenge is the gay people who have been identified as being very prone to HIV infections. The risk is attributed to the kind of sexual activity involved. Men having sex with men increases their risk of getting HIV. It's not so bad for women having sex with women because the risk profile is not as high as for men having sex with men. But in a country such as Uganda, where homosexuality is criminalized, it is almost impossible for researchers to obtain information from the gay community, but also doctors to examine and treat them. How can we conduct research in a group that's undercover or under the carpet? How? Yet it is important to provide them with all the services and prevention that people in the general population enjoy. According to the Global Health Research Initiative, an organization that provides an opportunity for researchers to network is looking forward to developing technologies that are generally acceptable, affordable, accessible and effective in order to implement a new prevention strategy. The community's population sometimes get tired of some of these messages, so we need uh, a, 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 a additional ones. Although the previous preventative measures, which include the traditional condom use, being faithful, abstinence, with the latest being pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP treatment, and microbicides were very well implemented, but the impact has been short term. When you start really intensive interventions, education, you start seeing uh, decreases in prevalence and incidence, but the challenge is that for how long can they sustain? using the same intervention. After a dramatic reduction in the HIV prevalence, following an early comprehensive HIV prevention campaign in Uganda, it is evident that the impact of the HIV treatment has caused laxity amidst the population, which has resulted into careless living, hence more infections. Well, 
Only time will tell whether the new technologies to be developed by these scientists will solve the rising prevalence rates. Cynthia Asio, NTV.